Hey makers, this is Thruveen and in this episode, I'm going to talk about preferred solution in depth. So first of all, let me talk about what do we mean by preferred solution? What is the purpose of it? What are the advantages you will get by using that solution and how you can activate that at your tenant level? So let's get started. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, please do follow me. First of all, let me navigate myself to the solution section over here. Over here, you can see that I can see managed solution and unmanaged solution. As well as whenever we create any power platform solution, common data service default solution is created by default. Let's say for an example, you are not creating any solution. You are directly creating apps over here. So by default, those apps and flows, everything is stored underneath common data service default solution. Now the challenge with this particular solution is you cannot export this solution and import it to the new, new environment. Now to avoid that particular stuff, Microsoft come up with a solution called preferred solution. So what preferred solution will do once you activate that particular feature by default, let's say for an example, you are creating any apps, any flow outside of your solution by default, it will store in your preferred solution that you have defined instead of this common data service default solution. Now hope you get a clear difference between this common data service default solution versus preferred solution that I'm talking about. Now, this is the new terminology and this feature is in preview at this moment. So first of all, you need to activate this from the power platform admin center. And to do that, click on the setting gear from here and click on admin center. Now select the environment where you want to activate this feature. So basically I want to activate this feature in my default environment. So I'm simply selecting my default environment over here. Click on the setting here again and go to the feature section from the product option. I'm simply clicking on the features over here. Scroll down a little bit and here you will find an option called preferred solution. Turn this feature on and click on save button. This has been saved successfully. Now go to your solution and click on refresh. As soon as you activate this feature on the top, you can see that you can see that here set your preferred solution and here you have an option that you need to define your preferred solution by default. If you don't set anything common data service default solution is there, which I already spoke whenever you create any power apps and power automate outside the solution by default, it will store over here. But now here you have a capability to add your own preferred solution over here. All right. So let's do that. But before that, let me create a new solution over here. So I'm just creating a solution named Power Platform Trainings. I'm just creating a new publisher for myself. So I just created this publisher. I'm selecting my publisher and simply click on create. So this is creating my blank new solution. And now let's apply this solution as a preferred solution. So there are two ways to do that. Either you can click on the manage section over here and you can select your solution. So I'm, I can simply select my power platform training solution from here. Or there is another way of doing is you can simply select your solution from here, power platform trainings. And when you select that on the top, you can see an option stat preferred solution. So you can click on this as well. Once you do that, it will open the similar pop up and simply click on apply and that will become your preferred solution. And you can see that it shows the iconography as well over here as preferred solution. OK, so now this is your preferred solution. At any point, you can change your preferred solution as well. Now let's do one thing. Let's create a new app and let's see where it is saved. So I'm just going to the create option over here and I'm just going to the blank app and creating a blank canvas app. So I'm just providing my app name as power platform trainings one and let's create an app. So I did not create any solution. Okay. I'm simply creating outside the solution and let me take one label and let me print hello over here. Let me save my application. So I'm just clicking on three dots open and save. And let's save this application first. 
All right, it has been saved and let me close this app simply. Now let's see where does it store. So let's go to the app section and you can see that this app just has been created. Now let me just go to the solution and let's check our preferred solution to see if my app is available underneath my power platform training solution or not. So I'm just clicking on that. And here we are. You can see that underneath the app section, I can clearly see the new app that I have just created. And that is how it will store. Now, the advantage of using the preferred solution is, let's say for an example, you have created so many apps, so many flows in uh, without any solution. And now if you think that you simply want to change your environment at the time, you can simply go to your solution section over here. You have export and import option as well over here. So you can see the export. You can publish all the stuff over here. You can uh, publish as a managed or unmanaged solution and import it in the other environment as well hope this video helps you and values your time if so please hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel because this motivates me to create such kind of content in the future looking for any training or consultation visit my channel homepage. you can find all the links over here don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and whatsapp channel with this this is Thruveen signing off See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.